What's up guys, welcome back to another video. This one's gonna be a little different, but should be fun. I'm redoing this fly pack rack. I got some converters and some patch panels and stuff. But have you ever been trying to put a bunch of these, any of the Blackmagic mini converters in a rack and you have to deal with all of these guys here, which can be obnoxious and take up a lot of space and just hard to fit in a rack. Well, I'm gonna show you a great way to power a bunch of these very cleanly, very slickly, and very efficiently. All right, so right here, this is the back of my rack. Um, there's gonna be a fiber patch panel below this SDI patch panel, but I have a shelf in here, and this shelf has some of these fiber converters on. There's gonna be four fiber converters, and I have another MIDI converter up here. And usually, the wall bars just end up hanging out in here, and it looks really messy and annoying. So. This here, this is basically like a bus bar, but it's a power bar and it allows inputs and outputs. So I have a 12 volt power supply up in here. It's a pretty powerful 12 volt power supply. Feeds into the input right here. And then I have some outputs. I have one right here already done. It's plugged into this converter right here. So it just looks like normal. And then it's as simple as hitting the switch and now that converter is on. So I can put one, two, three, four, five, six of these on this bus bar. So I have five in this rack, it's perfect. So once I'm done wiring all of this up, I can mount this up in here. It'll screw into the wood, it'll be out of the way. And I can hit the switches, turn them on and off. Very clean, very effective way to power all of these mini converters in here. Okay, that was super short and sweet, but I hope that that helps if you're trying to build a rack like this or anything that you're trying to power a bunch of these. It's a really nice, clean, effective way. All the parts are in the description below and I'll see you in the next video.